Welcome back everyone. In the previous two videos, I made a simple script that finds and disables all computers in an organizational unit that have not had any users log on to them in the past 45 days and updated the Active Directory description to include the disabled date. In this video, I'm going to further expand the script, moving the disabled computers to another OU, and then moving the ones from that inactive OU that haven't had any users log on in the past 90 days. In the process, I'll show you how to use splatting for easier parameter input, the where object command to filter output, and a couple other basic commands to manage Active Directory objects. I first want to add the distinguish name of the inactive OU as a variable at the top. This is the OU that computers will be moved to after they've been disabled. I'll first want to remove any computers from the inactive OU that have not had any user log on to them in the past 90 days. And I do this to safeguard against accidental deletions. This way I can be confident these computer objects in AD are not being used and didn't just happen to get caught up in the script. The parameters for the search AD account are quite long, and I want a way to make it easier to read and understand when there are more than two parameters. So I'm going to use splatting to turn the long list of parameter inputs into a two column table, and then pass that whole table of input values to the command all at once. Splatting variables like normal variables begin with a dollar sign, a name, and an equal sign. Then I'll make a hash table by typing in at symbol and curly braces. Inside the braces, the value pairs are added with an equal sign separating the key from the value. The item left with equal sign will be the parameter name, and the item on the right is the parameter input. Switch parameters must have a value that is either true or false, and regular variables can be used as values in the hash table. And then by typing the variable search params in PowerShell, you can see the result as the table. So once the hash table is complete, type the command, followed by an at sign, then the splatting variable name. So instead of typing this, I'll use this table. To get a 90 days time span, I do not have to create a whole new time span. Time scans can be added together just like numbers. So to double the number of days inactive, I'll type dollar sign days inactive plus dollar sign days inactive. So I'll assign the search command to a variable and then pipe the unused computers variable into remove AD computer to remove the computers from Active Directory. If for some reason you need to restore a deleted AD computer, this can be done from the Active Directory Administrator Center or with the restore AD object command, which is featured in another video. I've opted to use the unused computer variable and said the simpler search AD account with the search parameters piped into remove AD computer, and that's to leave an opening to export those computers that are going to be removed to a file for those people that prefer to have them, such as unused computer pipe to export CSV. So I'll go ahead and use splatting for the second search AD command that finds the inactive computers. I also don't want to add an additional date to the description of computers that are already in the active OU. So to prevent that, I'll exclude the computers from the inactive OU from the initial search. Search AD account does not have a filter parameter, so I'll use the where object command to filter out these computers instead. Where object typically receives input from the pipeline and then selects objects based on their property values. The property parameter identifies the property to compare. Now I can compare things with what's called a comparison operator. And the simplest comparison operator is equals or dash EQ. So this will display only the results where the name is win201. To find a match for a string using a wildcard, use a comparison dash like. I need to compare the distinguished name of the computer to the distinguished name of the inactive OU, since the distinguished name of the computer has the OU in it. And I can use a wildcard in front of the OU distinguished name to find the computers in the organizational unit. 
I'll use the opposite of the like operator, which is not like, along with the inactive OU variable and a wildcard to find computers that are not in the inactive OU. Nothing changes for the part that adds the disabled date to the description. Move AD object is fairly simple if you watch my other videos. The identity parameters input is an act directory object and the results of search AD account is an array or a collection of AD objects. So we can simply pipe that into move AD objects and use the target path parameter to determine where you want to move the object to. So now we finished our script. Let's go ahead and save that and then run it. And now let's take a look at ADUC to see the result. So that's the end of part three, and this is the conclusion of the Act Directory cleanup series videos. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.